Governor Whitmer did not specifically address how these broad guidelines trickle down into Michigan's classrooms. Her remarks today left many local districts saying they need more clarity. Our Paula Tutman started hearing from local districts as the governor was speaking, and it is a confusing time. Where do things stand? And get, get the bee away from you first. I don't want you to get stung, Paula. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. It's warm out here. Yeah, Karen, you know what? I, I certainly think that releasing or relaxing some of those mask mandates creates a sense of whiplash, but it really is more than that for a lot of school districts. Uh, districts. This is just one series of questions from one superintendent who asked me to send them to the governor's office for clarity as she tries to navigate these end of year milestones for her students safely. More confusion from the governor's remarks today on the rollbacks on masks, so much so that the superintendent of the Southfield Public School District fired off an immediate response, clarifying her position for graduation, prom, summer school, and very possibly the reopening of in-person learning this fall. In a frustrated note, Superintendent Dr. Jennifer Martin Green stated, real and clear guidance is needed now for districts to be able to plan. We uh, have been confused for the entire 14 months. Every time we put plans in motion, uh, shortly thereafter, we get new guidance. Dr. Green says today she simply needed to hear more from the governor. Clear and consistent guidance as to what we are expected to do through the duration of this school year. We are educators. We are not doctors. We are not epidemiologists. We are not healthcare professionals. And while the governor mentioned that more than 7 million Michiganders are vaccinated, school districts are saying they need more children age 12 and up to get vaccinated so that they can get back to the business of school safely for summer school and the fall. We would hate to have another outbreak preventing us from returning to our schools. Everybody's not vaccinated, and so we are always um, erring on the side of caution. In Detroit, teenagers are working this evening with rap sessions with Teens for Vaccines. Being around a lot of people who you don't know, and me being an athlete, just going into different gyms and stuff, uh, not knowing who you're around, so just just keeping myself safe and keeping others safe at the same time. School districts like Troy and Southfield are teaming up with healthcare systems to get children 12 and over and their eligible family members vaccinated. But some districts are deeply concerned because while they are following the science, it's the laws that need to be enforced. And without more guidance and more answers, for a second year in a row, they say they are being plunged into uncertainty of what school will look like and how to plan for it. All right, so let's go back to these questions. And I think really the chief one among them for a lot of dis uh, districts is, how does one plan for the upcoming 21-22 academic year? Yes, Karen, I did send these questions to the governor's office. I just checked email. I've not heard back. But as soon as we do, then we'll just put the whole list on clickondetroit.com because a lot of them are, are, are serious questions for districts trying to navigate the end of this school year as well as the beginning of summer school and fall. And as you mentioned, it takes time to make those plans and money as well. Thank you, Paula. It does, yeah, good point.